good morning from the ranch sunday morning sun's up sort of and look we got six poles up yesterday uh we'll get the other 10 up today and uh for the shop and then um that's all we're, i think it's pretty much what we're doing today we'll probably sell some hay today i imagine uh we sold a few bells yesterday pretty sure there'll be more people coming today but yeah six poles up we got 10 more to go. We still got to cut this one down. Uh, I need to measure it out and get it cut this morning. And uh, dew is out right now, so we might let that dry up a little bit before we get started. But yeah, everything looks good. Everything's going good around here. And it's nice and cool. It's 48 this morning. We got a jacket on. Right now, it's going to warm up here pretty quick to about 70, 72 or something like that today. I know just east of here it's in the lower 40s right now or was i should say but yeah see now i was going to explain this i don't know if i explained it yet or not but we put these plates on here for one thing for uh, grounding for when we're welding the base but also this is uh when i get ready to put purlins in i'll be able to lay them up here we're going to lay them between the poles, actually, is what we're going to do. I know some people back these things off, and then they put the purlin in, and you're wasting a lot of floor space, if you ask me. So I'm going to put them between them, okay? And I'm going to lay them like this, going across to this one, right? So i got to put another plate here, of course, go from here to here. There'll be another pole down here that'll go that way, and those will be all connected together. This right here will be a door. So we'll have to frame this with a purlin. So to frame the paradigms, what we'll do is we'll put the top one in place first, okay? And then we'll measure down, all the way down for the purlin, and then we'll brace it in once we get it all set to the right width and everything, so. But I'm going down here and check the bull. He's been balling a little bit last night, so I don't know if I got somebody in heat or not, but. You know, if we got somebody in heat, but we'll go find out real quick. Get him fed too, by the way. I know there's a heifer hanging around down there too, so maybe she's in heat. Um, yeah, so we'll get down here and check him out, see what's going on. But yeah, look, pose. 10 more to go. 15 foot, it's going to be a 15 foot from the edge where the uh, metal sits into the groove all the way to the top. So uh, good height. All of our doors will be 12 foot tall doors and that way we can get you know different things in there we need to get in uh tractor stuff like that and uh but yeah i do like that height because one thing it keeps it a little bit cooler in there too because the heat will rise up get out of there we'll probably put some kind of ridge vent openings opening deals on the top or something like that and uh, that way we can get the heat out a little bit easier do plan on uh spray foaming the inside um for insulation and that will make it really nice in there during the summer probably keep the heat off maybe air conditioning eventually you never know hey it might work we guys go here and check the bull uh, i forgot to bring something to get the eggs with but i think we got somebody over here i don't know if she's in heat but she's very interested in what's going on so i might feed him let me get him fed, then I might try to lift her in, maybe. I don't know. I do hear somebody else coming up here right now. So she might be the one in heat. We're going to find out. She's in heat again. That's not good. I really need to get her bread. She's coming up here in a hurry.
I don't think they are because he would have reacted to them already. Um, I think they're hungry. And they know that if they enter by the gate, I'll let them in sometimes. <laughs> so, a bunch of beggars. But, I want to make sure though. We'll leave them in today, see what they do. Uh, one of them on her Volvo, she looked like she might be in heat. Or maybe she was in heat yesterday. Maybe I missed it. Uh, we'll keep an eye on her. Just see, you know. It's best to go ahead and put them in. We're getting a little bit low on fresh hay out there, it looks like. I'm not going to feed them till tonight, though. I'll get them later this evening. I want to get them. They need to eat as much of that down as they can and stop wasting so much. So I got to build new hay rings that keep that hay in better on the bottom anyway. It's a race to the bottom of the bucket over here. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave them in here. Figure out what's going on, if anybody's in heat or not. Chickens are in there. They got water now. They were, they have tipped their water over again. I gotta, I gotta hang that thing. Uh, picked up some eggs down there. So, that's good. We gotta clean this place up. But first, the shop. So, like I said, we're going to work on the shop today. Uh, you know, just continue working on that. Try to get these other 10 poles in. That's the important thing today is to get that done. And, uh, yeah, where's it at? Right there. So, uh, we get those in. We'll be in a good spot. And uh, then I can start cutting down purlins and stuff and getting all that ready. Because probably what I end up doing is putting all the... Uh, uh walls together the uh framing for the doors get all that together um and ready to go too so uh, we can do that i can do that during the week off and on and uh you know evenings and stuff like that you know still got we still got sunlight in the evenings a little bit until time change comes at the end of the month but uh anyway so we'll uh we'll work on that like I said, I know we got to feed hay later. We'll probably have some hay buyers coming in, I would imagine. Uh, we usually get a few show up on Sunday. And uh, my outages are still terrible, by the way. I can't do nothing about that. Uh, let me turn this way. There we go. Sun's in my face now. There we go. So, yeah, we'll get the... Uh, uh, like I said, the allergies are really bad. Oh, my gosh. But uh, it's hard to breathe when they're like this. And then one thing I do this week also is I got to take all this out. Pull all this stuff out of here. Because we got to start getting this cleaned away from here. And uh, to make room for, we're going to build that overhang over here. And on the other side too. So I got a lot of stuff to move around here and there this week. And uh, we'll go from there.
Hey. I know we had the video camera running on a lot of the welding we did. So just showing you, we got all 16 poles up. And uh, we straightened out one. We had one that was way off, uh, wasn't uh, level. We got two more we're gonna do also. It's not that hard to, to do. Uh, we're gonna redo this one right here in the front. And uh, we'll re re-level it. Cause it's leaning a little bit this way. And then on this one right here, we're gonna redo it just a little bit. And cause it's leaning too far this way also, we'll pull it back in. Uh, we redid this one and now it's really set on really good and uh, the welds are back on so uh, So we're getting close. We're starting to get there now. We're doing some work finally not getting close. But we're doing some work So I can figure out what's going on over here. I hear my bull screaming back and something else happening. I don't know what the heck but I need to figure out what's going on down here And uh, see who's where And what the heck's going on I don't know. Let's see, there's one of the heifers in there that I put in there with the bull. I have a heifer in here with him. He was breeding. Uh, let me go here and check. My cows are spoiled. They want to put up more hay, even though there's a ton of hay on the ground. So, let me walk down here real quick. Make sure he's good. Yes, he's been chomping down on the hay over there. Yeah, he's right here. So I don't see no problems down here. So that's good. They got water. Said so he's looking okay. I've been playing in the hay though. She's the one was in heat. She's been in heat a couple of times now. So I'm starting to get a little bit worried that there's something wrong uh, with her. Um, so we're going to try it again if she eventually might have to go. I mean, that's just part of the purebred situation. Sometimes you got to call them out. They're not going to breed or breed easy. You got to call them out sometimes. So we'll make the decision here, uh, and here probably in the next month or so, if she comes back in, definitely. Well, I'm going to leave them in tonight. I'll let them out tomorrow and uh, get them back out. So yeah, we might be calling her, possibly. Um, I really need these cows to breathe back. If they're not gonna breathe back, I don't, I don't need them. So let me restate that. I need these cows to breathe back on time. If they can't do that, if they don't wanna get bred, then they do have to go. So, I mean, that's just part of a purebred operation. You can't just, you know, throw money in a man. We got a couple that won't leave here, right? Of course, her. It's the original Duchess cow. She's proven her worth here. She's an old cow, so she's not going nowhere. You know, she'll, she'll remain out here until she dies. And, you know, Queen is another one, even though she's producing, though. Just need to have her produce to a shorthorn bull. Which, we think we got her bred. So, we'll know here in a couple more weeks if she actually took. Hopefully she did. And uh, cause I had her with the bull, I think. And uh, I think I got her in time with the bull, we'll see. And he was out with uh, a couple of the other ones too. Let's go check out what's going on. I think what's happening here is this guy's got a ton of Brahmas in here now and they're idiots. Yeah, so I don't know, what's, I don't know what to do is with that. Right. But, uh, I think my bull is hearing them over there doing their typical Brahma grunts. And he thinks it's a bull challenging him, so he's grunting back. But uh, I just want to make sure there's nobody heat out here. Because I got like one or two that could come back in the heat. Probably one right now that I'm waiting on. And there's our Kianina cow. And we got this shorthorn roan here, but I don't, I don't think she'll be back in heat for. I don't know. She won't be in heat probably for a couple more weeks. She just went had those twins that were stillborn. Um, you know, they got a little bit twisted up in there by looking at, at the situation in them. So, uh, you know, that, that can happen. Yeah, so, I don't see... Uh, I 
think everybody else has been back in heat. Well, except for the cherry cow. Well, the newer, newer ones, right? They're not back in heat yet. Uh, so like Rose, or he, he might have bred Rose actually. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I got it, I got it written down. But this cherry cow right here that's licking on the syrup, I don't think she's been back in yet. And of course, the key heifer, uh, the little princess heifer, where's she at? Over there somewhere. And probably the rose, not, not heifers, cows, I should say. The key cow, the little princess cow, cherry cow, and the rose cow, probably have not, I don't, I'm not expecting them back in heat yet. Those calves are not that old. They're only like, they're barely a couple weeks old. So um, we're not expecting them in heat, in heat anytime soon.